It was a beautiful day for some high school baseball. The Southern Illinois Baseball Coaches Association held their annual senior all-star baseball game today at DeCoin High School. Seniors from all over Southern Illinois played in the nine inning game. Players were split into two teams based on which conference they play in. The River to River, GEC and Midland Trail seniors were the home team and South 7, Black, Diamond, and SEC were away. Each pitcher was on the mound for one inning, and the infielders and outfielders rotated each inning. Today's game was all about having fun, giving area seniors the chance to play in one last high school game. But there were some impressive plays, too. Let's check out the top three plays of the day. Coming in at number three, Kellen Cuiava slams this one deep into center field, and he decides to go for third, but Nashville's Michael Combe makes a great play at the third base and gets the out for his team. Number two, Cuiava getting some redemption. Carbondale's Ethan Chance pitching. AJ senior Kyle Jarrell thinks he's got a base hit, but Cuiava sprints from deep in the outfield and makes a diving catch for the out. And the best play of the day came in the top of the ninth. Mount Vernon's Roman Harrison specs this one out of the park for the solo home run, his second of the day, and his team couldn't complete the comeback. They fall 6-3 the final. Players shared their thoughts on today's game. Went out there, just wanted to have fun. I knew some of the guys I was throwing against, so I mean, I had a guy 0-2 and tried to throw a knuckleball and threw it 50 feet over the catcher. So, uh, just a whole lot of fun. That's really all it is. It's different. I mean, a lot of guys that I hate when I'm playing against them, I I'm close friends with when I'm playing with them or outside of the game. So, uh, it's just it's a great experience to play at this All-Star game. Let me tell you, the players had fun out there today, and we'll hear from more of the athletes who played in the All-Star Game tomorrow on News 3.